Hello, my loves. Yeah, I've got a new editing do re what's it. Thank you so much to the wonderful Black Swan Beauty for pointing me in the direction of this editing because I was getting stressed, honey. Oh my God. So I have got the lovely Anya in today. Anya has the tiniest, weeniest nail beds ever. Um, even the smallest size of nail tip is too big for her first two or three fingers so we were like I'm sculpting and she only wanted them ever 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 so short so um I'm just going in here so I've done my clear base and all that malarkey um and now I'm going in with Smiley's Glitter Store Purple Haze it's this beautiful um light purpley glitter with this golden haze it's stunning because Anya has the most beautiful hair that's got like purples and blues like a mermaid so we really wanted to capture some of that. Uh, I'm using Diamond Nail Supplies, obviously, and my Glitter Planet Aqua Brush size 10. This bit of metal you can see down there is my Valentino Dust Collector. I also have it on because um, it's got a carbon filter, so it helps with the fumes. So even if I'm not collecting dust, I'm collecting stinkiness. Now we're going to do an ombre nail and I'm going in at the tip with Loopy Lou from Nail Vision. It's number 352. I feel like a bingo caller. 352 Loopy Lou. I'm going to do an ombre nail. This is literally the colour of Anya's hair. It's so gorgeous. So I'm just feathering that back up. Seems weird I'm editing on my phone instead of my MacBook. It's so weird. Hope the audio is alright. I do switch frame, don't worry, you will see what I'm doing. Don't, don't panic, Captain Men, and there you go. I could do another ombre nail actually here. Numero dos ombre nail with Loopy Lou. Sorry if I sound tired, I am, I'm knackered. <laughs> it's prom season, just don't speak to me. <laughs> so tired. So it's always hard on very, very, very short nails when you're doing a design not to go bulky. It just is. It's just difficult. I don't even know why. I guess you don't have a lot of playground, do you? You don't have a large surface area. So it's good if your colours are quite pigmented. Now we're going to do a glitter ombre, but we're going to do this glitter down first, nude on top. So we're using purple haze again. You see that glow? I love it. I'll put everyone's links down below just tap 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 in tap 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 as you do okay on to the next nail So on the thumb we are going to do a kind of marble but it's very, it's just the nude which is exposed from Diamond Nail Supplies and Loopy Lou and I think I put a bit of clear in there as well and a bit of glitter. I just kind of bashed it all in there but we did it very, very sweet, very beautiful little marble nail. It's really cute. So I'm laying a wet bead of Loopy Lou and then a bead of exposed and I'm just going to go up down and up and down and just kind of like spread it across the whole nail because it's a tiny tiny nail <laughs> i'm used to doing like big old nails but seriously she has the diddiest hands i've ever seen they're so cute and you said oh i'm gonna be youtube famous now i said yeah you are <laughs> And I'm just tapping some of this raw glitter into the wet acrylic as it's setting. Just gently tap, tapping it on top. <laughs> I giggle every time I say the word tap because I keep doing my Happy Gilmore thing. Just, yeah. I probably need to get out more to be fair. Okay. I'm going to go and cap. Do you know what I did? I forgot to cap the pinky. And then when we came to filing, I was like, oh, that's rough. So I had to go and cap that off camera. 
No, I'm not capping. I'm putting the nude down. Oh my God. So I'm laying a bead of exposed down, tucking it in around the cuticle and then feathering it into that loopy loo. It's really easy ombre to do with these two colors. Super easy. And then we're gonna do a little bit of glitter just to tie um, the glitter in across the set. This is actually an S the right way round and I really, really struggle. Can't do it. I always do them back to front. I do like working with this with the fine glitters because they're just oh they're just like little speckles of heaven. You have to let me know if you like my new intro. Oh yeah. I really like it. Another bead of exposed down at the cuticle, place it on, tuck it in, and then feather it down. Really, really easy, just gently, gently. Really pretty, lovely little ombre. And then we're gonna get some of that glitter and just, I think I picked up a wet bead. I'm not even sure why I did that. Cause normally I would just tap the glitter into it. I think I was just chatting away as you do. around now just and then we're going to go do that glitter ombre so again place in a bead of exposed at the cuticle and then tucking it in very gently feathering it down it's a really easy powder I'm sorry I go out of shot here I'm filming at such an awkward angle I really need to fix it but I don't have time for the next week. It's just too crazy. So the week after, I will get it fixed. I'm going to work on some jiggery pokery. Well, I'm not. Mr. B is going to work on some jiggery pokery. And I'll take credit for it. <laughs> so I'm going to cap that thumb, I think. I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I feel all disjoint, discombobulated today. A bit discombobulated. Oh yeah, cappy cap cap. I know it's a marble now, so it's a little bit lumpy bumpy, but we'll file that through, it'll be absolutely fine. I'm not, I'm not fussed. Okay, now I'm capping the other nails. And I've managed to get it in frame, but I forgot to cap that pinky. It's so dumb, just like in a world of my own. Happily chatting about unicorns and glitter. It was like a proper girly day actually. It was nice because I had my friend round and her two kids and it was just, we were just chatting about nails and people and life. It was nice. Oh, my daughter's in France. Just thought I'd tell you all that. With the army. She's doing the centenary, the hundred year. Oh, I can't. She gave me this big posh word thing that they were calling it. And I can't remember what she described it as. Um, but it's in France. And ever since the war, they play the bugle every, every day. And it's like the hundredth year. And it's the first and only time the cadet army band will be part of the ceremony so she's over in France boiling hot in her ceremonial army outfit which is like traditional thick and very very hot okay I filed and everything like that and I am now top coating with diamond nail supplies tack free top shine look at that so pretty yes my nails are manky if you tell me that my nails are manky you're gonna look really silly because I know they are okay I just don't have the energy to do them. My hands hurt. But I will I will fix it, I promise. Just probably not for about another week. Let's cap that glitter fade. Oh, 
such a cute nail. Cap, top coat. Told you I was discombobulated. It's because it's because Rebecca's in bloody France. I'm all of a dither. glowing particles of glitter and then we've got a little video of the finished set i know it's short but i hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video tally bye